All right, it is time for episode two of the Mars vlog. And um, I got really great news, really great news that I'm going to say at the end. God damn it, man. I'm choking out right now. Zendaya and Lupita is trying to steal my glow. Anyways, I got really great news that I will, I, will, I will announce at the end of the vlog. But for now, hopefully you enjoy episode two of um, the Mars vlog, season three. This time... I'll be showing you the in and outs of East Dean, uh, Pelodia Street and beyond. This is where I grew up from my young days to my adolescence. So 2009 when I moved here to um, Brexit, uh, England. So like, subscribe and go on OnlyFans. Whoa. Hello, ladies and gentle cheeks. Yeah, this is East D. That's my house right there in the background. I'm actually walking all the way. I'm actually doing like a, a whole walk around. But right here, as you can see, this is Pelodia Street. You know, it wasn't like this 10 years ago. That's what I gotta say. It changed a lot when I was here. Well, when I came back, it changed a lot. These houses were not like this when, when I left in 2009. All of a sudden, there's houses everywhere and shit, you know, but this is home. Since I was a wee little baby, you know, cause my, my father was actually working as a doctor in Mclusi Township. You know, I think, I think it's possibly not, so I was just say he's down here, but he was a doctor, and so we moved here. And uh, the money was built for that house. I was born in Pretoria, but I, I still remember I came here, because they, they came here. They were actually living in Mclusi then, but then when my father actually got the money up and he built the place, he got the plot of land. Look at this house, look at this house, man. Oh, they built it on that plot of land. Fuck. There was like a plot of, there was like a, a plot of land there. There was nothing be, being built there. And I was like, okay, someone's has got to build a fucking house there. Look now. And then here, big ass bushes and shit. Actually, there used to be bad. Now there's fucking, now there's fences. There used to be no, no fence. I still remember there was there was a dead cat. There was a dead cat that actually was left there at at the door. At the door, um, at the gate at my place. And then I basically took it and then I buried it. I buried it somewhere there. Yeah, but now of course no excess because there's fences. Bloody hell man. But everywhere you go, there's like fences, there's gates, and then right there. That's the East Dean Muslim School. Well, I think it's the yeah, it's the Middleburg Muslim School. Yeah, it still has school there, but it's missing the H. That's yeah, it's gone big. Twenty years. Twenty years since the fuck when. Yeah, check this. 1996, I didn't know that, yeah, yeah. They, they definitely renovated some places, yeah, but this is Middleburg Muslim School, I still remember, I was still here when this shit was being built, you know, so this is the school strictly for Muslims, but this is calm, because East Dean is, East Dean is a mostly Muslim, Muslim area, there's a mosque right down the street, um, this is a house that was abandoned, and I'm shocked that it's still in this state. Fuck, you know. Wow. Yeah, that's the railway. The railway is right there. Right there. It's, it's bricked up. Like I used to come all the way down here with my bike. It was a nice ride. Because up there, Nazareth was right up there. And so I used to always come down with the bike, with my bike. And then... um. 
Yeah, it was calm. Yeah, this is a good place, man. There's even a new place there that is built there. What the hell? Otherwise. Whoo! Okay, we are here now. This is Arafa Street. Look at this, man. This is bullshit. <laughs> it is bullshit. Bruv, they built a wall, literally. And it actually spans the whole street. Ten years ago, this wasn't here. You would actually see the trains go apart. There used to be like, at least, there used to be like uh, electrical fences. And then on the on that start of the road there, as I said, there was there used to be an opening. So there used to be a shortcut all the way to Nazareth. Now, if you actually want to go to Nazareth, I think the other side of the road is mad. But yeah, this street, actually, <laughs> on your bike, actually, yeah, when you see that, it actually goes downwards. And that actually makes sense. But I've never been on this part. I've never, this is like the halfway point of Arafat Street. I've never been, I've never been like at this part before and they definitely changed shit. But yeah, I met some childhood friends there, say hi. They're still there living at the, at, the, at the residence. It's all cool, you know. Everyone that I, you know, everyone that I know is from, from here are still living here. I know some people left. You can even see some places have, you know, have changed. Some places have. Oh, Kilimanjaro is still here too. Shit, Kilimanjaro guest house. Yes, guest house. I think they also have like another sector down there. You know, like this. But yeah, it's all blessed. Because now I'm actually walking. Like I'm more accustomed to just walking. Now, I'm just accustomed to walking everywhere, even you know, back in England. I'm just accustomed to walking places, so I think now I'm actually calm. They actually live the sheet. I'm actually calm walking to Titan Security Services 24 hour tactical response. So, I think that's why it's mad, man. It is mad. There's some places still that I remember, they still, they still hold a lot of, yeah, this, this whole place is, this, 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 this whole nine is, is walled up, man. What the, what the fuck happened? I see Titan security services and shit. Yeah, this is, I think this is a house. I dropped the guy right there. Yeah, I dropped the guy right there when I was young. Yeah, good times, man. Shit. Otherwise, um, it's it's just nice walking on the streets that you grew up in. So you know you basically just relive these memories. You think about them again, be like, whoa, that was fucking, you know, that was like fucking awesome there. You know, I lived that era. But, you moved out, you come back and it's changed. And then all of a sudden you come back and you see the changes that happen, that happen in the community and it's massive. You see houses, a lot of houses where, you know, there was a lot of greenery and shit. Yeah, that's blocked off as well. Jesus Christ. The whole place is blocked off. Okay, we're officially here. And damn, uh, if I see the dog outside, then I know. Yeah, if I see the dog outside, then I know. Otherwise, shit, what time is it now? Has to be at least at quarter two or some shit. Nothing really changed. Well, they got a new thing. Oh, they got a doorbell now. Legit, that actually, well, gotta see if it actually works. Yeah, they don't have it. Yeah, they don't have one yet. Okay, um, let's see about it. Otherwise, let me just go ahead and check. Not even gonna bother banging in, but we'll see.
Well, the good news is this. I have found the three episodes uh, that I thought were deleted forever. So I'm blessed. I'm happy about that, man. Holy shit. So yes, you will actually get three, four, and five. Okay. So uh, I'm happy about that, man. Jesus Christ. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, we all live through the 70s. The clothes.